video I bring you a very exciting ASMR gaming video you could say and that is because tonight we are combining two things that I absolutely love doing on the channel and that is ASMR gaming and puzzles and putting them together to do an escape room and I am looking forward to this so so much and I really hope that you all are too and it's going to be a lot of fun as well as the fact that this could end up being a very very long video because I have no idea how long this is going to take us to escape so fingers crossed we can do it all in one video but if not this might end up as a multi-part uh, video but sit back, relax and enjoy because we are in for a combination of relaxing ASMR and fun puzzle solving tonight so if you do enjoy I'd really appreciate it if you drop the video a big thumbs up subscribe if you're not already and you do enjoy videos like these and if you want to see more comment down below what else you'd like to see me play or try out here on the channel and yeah without further ado let's get in to the escape room okay here we are the escape room we're going to be playing tonight is one I found on Steam called Palindrome Syndrome. Now I'm not too sure what to make of the name. I do know a palindrome is like something that's the same backwards as it is forwards if that makes sense. Like a palindrome word would be like the word race car. Um, so I don't know if that has anything to do with this, but I did go ahead and quickly load up the game to make sure it's working and everything seems good. So if it looks like I've already started it, I've, I've not, but we will go into an empty slot here and I have no idea what we're going to be faced with, but let's boot my logic and puzzle solving skills to the test and see how we get on okay here we go <laughs> Like some sort of game of like Connect Four. Um, 
something is missing. Oh, okay. So we're gonna need to get other pieces to this puzzle before we complete that one. We have some sort of cog puzzle. Something is missing. Looks like that's gonna turn and open up this door, maybe. Uh, we have some levers. Can we do this? We can do this. Okay, but there's nothing that's really gonna give away what that could be. I feel like the first place we want to start is over at this box because I believe I could see some sort of puzzle on the side. So, we can see it says 42 minus plus 11 equals 3153. Why would it be that? Well, 42 subtract 11 is 31 and 42 plus 11 is 53, so that makes 3153. Does that work with the following numbers? Let's see, 35 minus plus 15. It should read 2050, which it does. Nice. We got 2060 below, which seems good, yep. So that means for this one here, 26 minus 14 is 12. So the first two are gonna be 12. And then plus 14 is 40. There we go, we got it. And we've opened it up. And it's quite cool hearing the sounds, they're like binaural as well. It's perfect for ASMR. So here we go. New in inventory paper with arrows. Interesting. I can turn it over. That looks like it might have something to do with the levers on the wall. <coughs> So let's go back. How do I access my inventory? I, okay. We have a diary as well. <laughs> this is so cool, I love this. Okay, so let's see. Um, so we have like, on the top one, three up, one down. Two up, two down. One up, three down. But then what would the last one be? I would assume four down. That would be my guess. Should we give it a go? Let's see. So, then two down. Three down, and then all four. I'm a genius. I am, I am too good at this, what can I say? Let's see, what have we got in here? A red screw. That looks like it might have something to do with this puzzle. <laughs> the Connect 4 puzzle. Let's see, what have we got? Have we got, like, do we need to go to our inventory, or does it just automatically go over here? Okay, so let's look at this puzzle. So we have, like, counters up the top. We have some blue and some red, and we have some numbers down here. For some reason, this is seven. And for some reason, this is five. This is six. This is four, this is seven, and this is eight. Um, does that mean we have to make those numbers? What happens if I put... Okay, so I have a theory. I think the red and the blue counters, or bins, screws, whatever you want to call them, I think they're worth different values. Oh, but I can't take off any of the 
these that are already on. Interesting. So this has to make eight, and there's four of them. So that would imply that each one that I put on is worth two. Now if I did that for all the blue ones, that would imply that the blues are worth two. But then this row, or this column here, wouldn't make sense. I think the blues are worth one, and red is worth two. So that would imply blue there. Um, all these are red. Um, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, perfect. One, two, three. Well, it has to be two blues. And then two, four, six, and seven. Nice. And as another noisy drawer opens, it looks like we have the yellow gear that's going to fit onto this bit. What do I do here? Do I just try and make sure they all connect up? I would assume so. Alright, that clearly doesn't go there. <laughs> um, do I put a uh, small gear there? Big gear there, maybe. Big gear here, one there. I've got to just try and make it so it turns, surely. Gosh, why is this actually difficult? Okay, that doesn't work. What about this? No. Well, if we work backwards, that fits. That fits. Maybe this green one there. No, this yellow. Yes. And then, does this go anywhere? Congratulations. At least your brain is not damaged. Go ahead. <laughs> There's still a while until we meet. Okay. So... Congratulations, looks like we have made it through to the next stage. And um, by the looks of things, our brain is not dead, but there's still a while until we meet. I wonder what that could mean. <coughs> Let's head on through. <laughs> See what's in this room. This is really eerie. I love it, though. I love it, but it's very eerie. Feels like we're on some sort of spaceship. So let's take a look off to the right. We have an infirmary, which we cannot enter right now. Off to heading straight forward, we have a break room. Uh, and off to the left, which seems like the only way we can go, we have a bio laboratory. Okay, interesting, interesting. Let's head into here, see what we're working with. Okay, so let us see. We have, okay, that's not interactable or any of these. Nope, thought maybe they would be. We have caution, authorized personnel only, use code access. So there's some sort of color. Use code to access. Okay, so there's some sort of order of colors. I could probably... I could probably sit here and guess, but I'm not gonna try and do that. This here looks a bit funky. I feel like this might have something to do with something these things here, but we'll leave it for the time being. What have we got? Kidney sample. We can look through. Okay, that's obviously some sort of code. 2311. But what for? No 
idea. Uh, we have some sort of numbers on the floor. One, two, three, four. Kidney sample. Oh. What was it again? Two, three, one, one. So we got something. A red test tube. Okay. I guess we want that. What's this? I finally managed to isolate a tissue sample from a kidney infected with the disease. Okay. I don't know why I didn't piece together that some sort of disease was being explored in this weird laboratory. I am convinced that being able to sort tissues by their speed of reaction to the disease is the key to solve the problem. Okay, is that like for my diary? Yeah, okay, so that's probably just like storyline details. I might miss little things like that as we go, but... I've been analyzing tissue samples from the research subject. I have discovered two things. Each tissue reacts by changing to a different color. And each of them has a reaction time. Oh gosh, here we go. This is kind of like... Very logic-y. This is like that kind of Einstein puzzle. These are the reaction times. The kidneys react faster than the lungs. The lungs react faster than the heart. Stomach reacts slower than the brain. Lungs react slower than the stomach, and the kidneys react slower than the stomach. Right, there is no chance I am remembering that. Something is missing. We got the red test tube. It looks like we need one more. What's this? Okay, we're not going to be able to get that. Is that like something through here? Looks like it's like backwards. That shape is like a deep on the side. So I feel like it, it goes the D, the C, the H, and then the three. D, C, wait, no, D, C, H, three. Okay, that was fairly straightforward, to be honest. These puzzles aren't too challenging so far, but what is this all about? Phase two. Am I meant to, like, go through here somehow? I still don't know what the color code is for that. What's this over here? Well, 
boss next. Kidneys are faster than lungs. Lungs are faster than art. Okay, so let's assume art is next. It's probably not. Like the art could be a few down or whatever, but we'll just assume for the time being.
some sort of hidden Is this meant to be like coordinates? What's this meant to be? I don't know what that means. It's like a D, a C, an H, and a 3. Does that have anything to do with this? Probably not. <laughs> What's this? This green stuff? I don't know. I can't look at that. Um, I'm a bit stuck. <clears throat> what do we do here? Is there a reason I can look at this? still didn't do this one, did we? The one over there. What was that all about again? Oh wait, is that to do with this? I had a feeling this was to do with something. So, right, right, left. So right, right, left, left, right, right. Right, right, left, left, right, right. I'm starting to put everything together now. <laughs> I have discovered a curious behavior of the disease. In a first phase, it can uh, be observed that the affected cells of a large increased in whatever that is which causes a chain reaction of that, then that, then finally that. So that's obviously the order. What's interesting is that once these reactions have occurred, the same reactions occur again in the reverse order in a second phase, which is why I have decided to call it palindrome syndrome. So that's how it gets its name. So it goes in that order. But then in reverse, which, as we said at the start of the video, is what a palindrome is. So, obviously, we have to do it in that order for this. So, let's take a look. <coughs> so, B4C10, which is that one. So it goes B4, C4, O3. Oh, it just goes like this. Bang, bang. Whoops. Bang, 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 bang. Wait, what? Bang, 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 bang. And then reverse. There we go. So if we head back through here, if we opened up another room, what's this? The break room we have, we're into another room. <laughs> okay, right. Wow, so the break room seems to have a bunch of more rooms <laughs> that break off of this. Maybe that's why it's called the break room, I'm not too sure, but let's just roam about the room. We have a banana, some pictures, a book which is now in our inventory, creatures of the depths. I wonder what that's about. We got a plant. There's a bunch of bananas in here. We got some pizza. We got some alcohol, we got some absinthe. Wow, they're living at large back here. Oh, there's some numbers as well, I've just noticed. 
there's some numbers back here. What's this to do with? Oh, is it maybe? Why does it say five? So there's some sort of order we've got to do. So what's this about? One is absinthe, then that brown stuff. I mean, I don't actually know what it is. Let's go and take a look. <laughs> okay, so one is absinthe, then red crown, then Hansiken, then Mississippi whiskey, and then latte, which is a coffee liqueur. Okay, so we have some sort of specific order, and that is one. What does this say? remember her favorite drink. Who? Whose favorite drink? <laughs> and we have another one over here, another five, right? I think I'm gonna leave that puzzle for the time being. What have we got over here? Milk, pizza, apple, banana. I think I have an idea what this is. We've got to work out how many milk bottles, how many pizza slices, how many apples, and how many bananas are in the room. And that's going to make like a four. Yup. Oh my goodness. All right. Let's start with, let's start with milk. I mean, I've not even seen a milk bottle yet, so I don't know what it looks like. That's milk. So we have five over there. Plus another four is nine. Well, you can't get any more than nine as a single digit number, so it's gotta be nine. So nine. Pizza is, pizza, 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 pizza. Pizza, we've definitely seen one pizza slice. Nine. Was it behind here? One, maybe it's nine, one. Oh, there's another one there, nine, two. Is there one in here? No, so, so far, nine, two. Apples, there's one, two, three, four. Is there five? Yes. Nine, two, five. Oh no, there's more. There's more. Nine, two, six. And one, two, nine, two, six, three, maybe. I think it might be nine, two, six, three. Okay, to be honest, I'm quite surprised I did that first time. <laughs> okay, let's take a look. The black king is two squares in a straight line. Okay, bloody body blast, something to do with Jess. That's obviously got something to do with this. Do you remember playing with her? This is a very eerie room. Okay, so I have a feeling I have to put these pieces down in accordance to what that said. Okay. Oh, gosh. The Black King is two squares in a straight line from the White Queen. What do they define as two squares? Do they mean like one and then another one? So the black king is two squares in a straight line from the white king. 
Usually there's only a couple of squares it can go. Well, I can't. Oh, so the black king could go here in a straight line. Surely it could go here, 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 or here. We don't know. What else does it say about the black king? <laughs>
maybe this one is what is their most of in that position in which case the first one is the latte liquor thing then the absinthe then this thing then oh this thing oops I think I accidentally did an extra one this one this one this one this one but then there's not one as the last one
See, I think that's it, but apparently not. This has definitely been the hardest one so far. And we have to definitely work something out here. Um, we have that Margaret thing. What is this alcohol one again? So it's something to do with those four. So absinthe appears in the one Two, four. But then what what does it mean by five? It's obviously next in the sequence. And we gotta work out where it would be in the sequence next. Maybe because it's not been in the middle, but it's also not been in the fourth. Um I'm just gonna guess. It's gonna go this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, nope. I, I don't know. I genuinely don't know. I'm stuck. I can't escape. <laughs> We're stuck here forever. So it's a sequence. That's number one. That's number two. How is that gone from that to that? So this guy is in the fourth position in every single one. Every one. So surely it's got to be in the fourth position in this next one. <laughs> Except from the last. 
the, the, the end ones they're like switched so like one and five are switched and then how is it going from two to three from two to three the middle ones switch so it's obviously not to do with that end one is different in every single one. Wait, is it this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy, then this? Do you want to know what it is? Do you want to know what it is? So, to go from one to two, first and the last one change as you can see to go from two to three the second one and the last one change to go from three to four the third one and the last one change so to go from four to five the fourth and fifth one must change so the order goes that one there then the absinthe then this one and then you just switch those <sighs> That's ridiculous. I didn't even see what opened there because I was too annoyed at myself. What opened? Oh, this. Okay, and then that goes in here. And this looks like it's gonna spell Margaret. M A. That's gotta go there, obviously. We gotta get this up there. R. Um, like that. Nope, this has gotta go up there. I hate these. I actually hate these. Lord. 
larger than the day. Okay, so the day is 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, or 19. The month is larger than the day. Now, obviously, there's only three months that start with one and something, so the month is either the 10th, 11th, or the 12th month. So the day must be 11 or 10. It can't be 12 because then the month wouldn't be larger than the day. So the day is either the 10th or the 11th. The last two digits of the year plus the month divided by day equals 7. Will I remember that? Last two digits of year plus the month divided by day is equal to seven. Okay, so let's let's just try. Let's try incident date. Okay, so that's year. How does this work? Do I like put it on there? I think I do, okay. So the day is probably the 10th. The month is probably December. And the year, let's just try them all. Let's try all these and see which one works. There we go, it was bound to work eventually. <laughs> You can do the math, but that definitely is correct. Nice. Now what just happened? <laughs> I always look away and miss. What just happened? Did this door open? I think so, I'm not too sure to be honest. We'll head through. See what happened. Okay. Interesting. So what have we got? in here we started from five we stopped at three then four and we reached two okay there's some sort of okay something's missing there oh travel order Is this this is quite tricky password seven one six two four five three eight where is that okay there are so many codes in here what is this all about That's on both sides. Tissue reactions. Alright, let's try and do this. <laughs> let's try and do something. So pink goes to yellow, which goes to blue, which of course doesn't work. So green, green brain goes to Yep. Oh. Oh, so green can only go to that. I see. And that can only go to that. But then... Right, what? Okay. <laughs> So green has to go to that one there. That okay, so that's all perfect. Then the next one. Can you have a So you can't have red go to anything, so I don't think that one matters really.
I have no idea how to do this one. <laughs> I'm trying to make them go to the correct colors. This goes to red. Red goes to yellow. No. I have no idea. Blue goes to green. That works. That works. That works. That doesn't really work, but... Alright, we'll, we'll leave that. Although I feel like that's probably the only one I can do so far. <laughs> Travel order. That might have something to do with this. Started from five. Stopped at three. Made another stop at four. So five, three, four, two is some sort of password. Five, three, four, two. But what is that a password for? I don't know. Five, three, four, two. Five, three. No. Five, three, four, two. Nope. What is this? Each of these have a different value. Yup. Okay. <laughs> this is, wow, this is tough. So, um, I think this four looking one, I think that's two. So that's last. I think five. I think three is this fork looking thing. So five, three, four, two. So it goes something fork, something four. Let's just. Five. What would be five? Maybe this thing. Five. What did I say was three again? Three, four, two, nope. Okay, let's work this out again. Okay. I think... This little fork thing here is either three or two. If it's two, 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 that makes four. We gotta make another eight with these two. One's probably five, one's probably three. Maybe the fork is three. Three, and then you need to make seven. Oh, that doesn't work. So that's got to be two. So the fork is the last one. I'm actually going to write this down. I have a little bit of paper here. So that's two. So two, 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 four. So this thing. This thing here is three. So three, six. So left, we have eight. So that actually is four. So that's four. So then the only one we've not seen is this one. So let me just make sure we've got the order right again. I think it's five, three, four, two. Yep. So hopefully I've got this right. I'm nervous. So five, three, four, few, few. What is this? What is this though? How do I, 
How do I even interact with it? I can't. That ain't great. But. Can I? What? What is this? Can I click on anything? No, so I obviously have to get something else to happen. What's this? <coughs> A, B, C, D. Are they the same? Probably not. <laughs> um, they're probably going to open, but I have to probably do this first. So A, B, C, and D. What is this about? I'm not too sure. Not too sure, to be honest. This is probably the hardest room so far. Wait, what's this? Login. Oh, well, what's the password? 71624. Five three eight. Surely it can't just be that easy. That's way too straightforward. Seven one six. Oh no, it's seven one six two four. Ah. Two four five three eight. No. What about this thing over here? Does this spell anything? RD320. RD320 GM3. That sounds more like it. That does sound are enjoying this video so far by the way if you are be sure to drop a big thumbs up G maybe it's a Q not a zero
it's this middle one. I don't understand how that worked, but it did. Oh gosh. We still haven't done this either. Don't ask me how I did that one. Because I don't know. Oh, I thought we had that. But apparently not. So we did that. We think we have the password, but it's not working. Oh, we have to do this, and I don't understand how this one works. But we're gonna work it out. So. sort of Venn diagram A, B, C and D so let's see A, B, C, D maybe it means which one is in all of them but then why would it say A, B, C, D like it's probably in order how many digits is it four. So maybe what is in both of A's in the same position? No, I thought I had it. I thought I maybe had it, but I don't. Because that, that symbol there means like in both elements like in like overlapping if that makes sense so i thought maybe they had some similar ones unless maybe i'm right and i just i'm interpreting it wrong i don't know this is tricky this is a tricky room Top left is like a moon, then it's like a spider, then it's like a... Nope, it's not that. Unless, maybe they're not in the same position because we have the moon in both but not in the same position. So moon, then in the second one we have the virus, so moon, virus. Um, other moon, moon virus, other moon, and then like the spatula one. I doubt it, moon virus. Okay, that's sneaky. That's pretty sneaky of them. <laughs> I didn't like that. Where is that? There we go. So can we open this now? We can. Okay, this is sneaky. This is tough. Okay, there we go. That's not tough, actually. For some reason, I thought that, that was going to take me ages. Okay, classified documents. Some sort of password. Three digits and it's blue. Is it a three digit code? Yes, blue, green, then pink. Blue, green, then pink. Is there something out here? Blue, green, then pink. We completed that, didn't we? Oh, we still didn't do that. I had another idea for this though. So we had that one that started with RD32. What if we do that, but in the order of the numbers that it says? So like the seventh one is M. The first one is R. It's the last idea I have for this. Six is G. Two is D. is two, five is zero, 
three is three. And eight is three. That is very, very tricky. That's so sneaky. And what on earth has just happened over here? Something printed, like here. Is this for in there? It's gotta be. though um what does that mean so blue green then pink that's the right order but what does that mean what does that actually mean does that mean um, we have like a plus on one on the top column and then three on the next column maybe that means I, I have no idea and it says go from left to right what does that even mean Does it mean two, three, four? Nope. Um, question mark. <clears throat> this is the hardest one of of them all so far. Sorry, my um my microphone just came out. Um okay. It's probably to do with this. Yes. Okay, so blue is these. So we have one plus one is two, plus another two is four, plus three, seven. 7 plus, or it's, it's gonna go 7, 9, um, 7, 9, 8, I think. There we go. Okay, okay. That was a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be, actually. And we've opened up another room. We've got this as well. We have just arrived at Neptune. I have finally discovered a cure for the disease, but I need minerals that can only be found here to create the medicine. Ooh, okay, so we might be approaching maybe the end. I don't know. Either way, this has been so much fun so far. Where are we to go from here? Through into this room, I think. Didn't like this room. Didn't like this room at all. <laughs> this looks like the starter room again. Oh, this looks pretty edgy, this room. Right, let's just start over here. What do we have? Something's missing. I have managed to synthesize the medicine. I've obtained two samples. One of them is saved here. I have taken the other sample to the infirmary to use it with Margaret as soon as possible. Okay. Is something missing? Nope, but it's a combination. Whoa, wait, what? Blue, yellow, red, red, blue. Okay, <laughs> that was really easy actually. Let's grab that cog or gear. Anything else over this side? No, we have a code here. So, what's this one? All three of them. Wait, what? Three, what, what? 
does this one work? Oh, how many times? Okay, so red is one, two, three, four, four, three, four, five, two. Easy, be easy. Let's grab that lever. Do we have another one here? Okay. So, okay, so red, 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 blue, yellow, red, blue, oh my goodness. How does this work? What? Start. Red, 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 blue. Oh, that's where I've got to end up, maybe. Oh, I've got it, I've got it. So red, 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 blue, yellow. That's the first one. Second one. So red, 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 blue, yellow. Next one is red, blue, yellow. So there. And then the last one is going to be this next one here blue yellow what let's just try it in all of them <laughs> um, it's a bit difficult to put into some of the squares come on ah goodness right red blue yellow so red blue yellow then we have red 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 blue yellow red blue yellow and then blue yellow unless you continue from here in which case it would go there and there there we go it, it didn't work though. <laughs> That's meant to be in the bottom right. But we got it. And we have an elbow pipe. But interesting. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what, what is this, this contraption? I kind of lost track of the storyline and I apologize for that. If you're keeping track, then props to you but this here is definitely going to be some sort of connect the pipes okay I'm not too bad at these there we go so we have to get it down here so that's gonna go like that Let's go. 
of the all links up with the size of the one that it goes on if that makes sense this why are these so difficult these ones these are like the, meant to be the easy ones <laughs> let's do this one here I feel like we're nearly done though <laughs> Oh, 
though it's got it, I'm pretty sure. Nearly. Oh my goodness. This is not good. These are not good puzzles. How do I do these? Right, what have we got? One, two. I definitely got it like complete different things and then these will like fill up. I have a feeling. So let's have a look. So, do I do both of these? So this has sort of, sort of like a black one, then an orange one, and then a yellow one. Do I like pair them up? Like yellow here. And then orange beside the black one, I don't know. in if I want to. I mean, I say if I want to, I'm obviously supposed to, but I just don't know the orientation, right? Let's go back to this, and I'm going to play about with this for a bit, and when I finally get this to work, I will let you all know. <laughs> in the corner, grey in the bottom left. 
so like these are good so oranges in the corners are good so let's try oranges in the corner black in the top right gray in the bottom left but gray isn't in the bottom left in that one it's probably you know what there's definitely an orange there it could potentially be gray orange orange black by any chance okay so that's the first one okay i don't know what that was all about but that was really cool <laughs> and then let's see this one here so we know oranges are, are good in the corner. And there we go. Some perfect ASMR right there. But what does this do? So that's a combination, obviously. One, two, three, four, or I don't I don't know really. Oh, we still have to do this one. Ah. Oh. What's this? Well, if it's just one, two, three, four, it's green, orange, blue, purple. Yeah, let's try that. Green, orange, blue, purple. Hopefully that's it. Lever button. 
nozzle on the wall opened up one of these things to which I had already completed ah well ah well we at least we have fully completed it right let's continue let's continue I think we're nearly finished so we had through here is it or is it back that way I can't remember I am losing my whereabouts in this escape room honestly the harder part is for me actually trying to remember where to go <laughs> um, I think it's back this way right this way yeah Ooh, this looks like this looks like we're nearly done Okay, so, what are we working with in here? Dosage. So we have to put, so this one's already red. Red on the grid is B. So everywhere we see a B on here, I'm assuming I put a red. Is everything else where there, there's loads of pinks and by the looks of things there's a lot of C's so I'm gonna assume that pink is C we'll soon find out anyways yeah it is next then there's only three so that's got to be green and then in the rest of the slots that's got to be yellow I thought I missed one there but there we go not too bad and some things opened up like a little drawer I'm trying to remember now because I don't want to forget anything like a little drawer opened up where was it there's so many things through here that we're meant to look at, but I'm trying to find that little drawer. No, where did that open up? Oh, there it is. We'll grab this first. If we can. How do I grab it? There we go. Okay, some sort of x-ray. some levers B Q R S D not too sure what that is so far this here A is plus C is 3 plus G is 1 plus so what's the last word a C G I M Q S W A E I think I think we're not too sure what that is yet. This is definitely put it this way, it's definitely getting more challenging as we go. Oh we could probably complete this now. What am I to do? Am I meant to it's another one of these things? So that's obviously up the top. This probably goes. Oh no, it looks like it's meant to make a picture of some sort. Um, this definitely goes up here. <laughs> um, like that, maybe. this stuff okay um, so this one probably goes here this one goes to the left and this one goes to well, that probably goes to the right maybe actually that's up there 
dots there. This is tough. <laughs> let's, I know I keep saying this, but let's do a different one. Let's do a different one. Can we do anything here? That's definitely some sort of code. I don't know what for, but that's a code. What's this? Osteology. Can I click anything? Not really. Oh wait, yeah we can. Something is missing. Okay, well we'll leave that for the now. Can I not click anything here? No. What about here? Okay, so. Purple, blue, orange, green. Purple, blue, orange, green. How does this work? There we go then. And then something else is printed. I love how things keep like printing. What's that gonna be for? That looks like it's probably for this or this. Code. So we have the alphabet. And then certain dots in certain points. It's probably this. A, C, G. Yikes. This is tough. This is really tough. And I don't know what that is either. B, Q, R, S, D. It's to do with that. Boot medicine here. Boot what medicine here? Something's missing. We don't have the medicine yet. We've done everything here. Yep. We've got to be like almost there. We just can't put the final pieces together. Right. So some sort of code. I don't know. Am I missing anything here? Doesn't look like it. Okay. So we obviously have to use this. So this has got to make a word. is some sort of code that signifies how to make the word. So like, let's take a look around the room again. Is there something that could make a word? I mean, for sure we have to do this. Let's, let's try and do this again. I'm just going to move it about randomly again.
A is plus. One, two, three, four, five, five. What would go along the bottom? Obviously, this is going to make a word for the bottom, but I don't know what. What it would be. And I feel like I've got to unlock something else first. I can't do this, can I? No, something's missing. Do, do, do. Right, I'm going to have a little play with this, this puzzle. And I'll get back to you guys if I can manage to do it. Finally, finally, I did it. I did it. But what did I actually achieve? What's opened up? I didn't see anything. No, did something open up over here? Are you telling me nothing opened up? I did all that and nothing happened. Maybe something's going to happen. I don't know. Well, what, what's it actually made? It's like a R rate monitor. B, Q, R. Oh, those are the letters over here. Maybe we move the lever in accordance to its height. So like R is at the top. These guys are at the bottom. And then these guys. That is genius. That is so, so clever. This is such an awesome, awesome escape room. I love it. I love it. And we've got that lever now. Which, I don't really know where it goes. Here, maybe. We're still missing two levers, okay. So we obviously get one from this, so let's see. A, C, G, I, M. So this is all going in alphabetical order. Q, S, W, then over to A, then E. So obviously it's gonna be in alphabetical order. Do the crosses represent a letter? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, B, Q, R. I promise you, I have literally just clocked that right now. So E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, B, Q, R, S, D, U, V, W. Let's go. And then, this is for the osteology. Which I don't really know what this is all about. Let's take a look. Um... assume that the hand has more than the foot. 
So then let's just guess for the other ones. Nope. 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 I mean, that was just luck. That was, trust me, that was pure luck right there. <laughs> a poster on the wall that tells you how many bones are in well pretend I didn't see that well pretend I didn't see that and instead we'll try and work out what it was that I did just see but I wasn't paying attention what just happened <laughs> what just happened something opened up but I didn't see something's still missing. What am I meant to do? Um, I might have to go and look back at the recording to find out what just opened up. Like a drawer opened up or something. Right. I'm not making that up. Something opened up. Was it in, even in this room? medicine here, I don't have medicine. What just happened? Was it in this room? I hope so. Maybe it wasn't. It's got to be, it's got to be. <laughs> I'm gonna find out what just happened. Okay, I'm such an idiot. I just checked back on the recording and something was given to me right here. Let's grab that. There we go, lever B. So have I still got one more lever to get? Or have I got them all? No, I've got them all. Oh no, tell me it's not another one of these things. That is... What? <laughs> How have I just done that that quickly? You guys, are you guys seeing this? She died yesterday. It's my fault. The code for the last drug sample. Exodus. Ladalis. I thought that... I had found the cure. Oh my goodness, this is that thing. Our effort had been for nothing. Margaret died yesterday, everything went wrong. It's all my fault. It's all my fault. The code for the last medicine sample. <clears throat> we know what this is. So, let's get the code out. So the code is M. Hey, you already know it's gonna be Margaret. M A R G. It's, yep, it's Margaret. Where do we put the code? In here. Mar. Garrett. And now we have got the medicine. And you know exactly where that goes. It goes right here. Oh boy, I'm nervous. You killed her. What? You killed her. <gasps> it's your fault. You were incapable to do what you promised. No. You said you would take care of her. I did. It, it's true. It, it's all my fault. Margaret died because of me. Rest in peace, Margaret. Accept your punishment. Oh my goodness. This, whoa. This took a dark turn. I'm sorry if you came here for a relaxing night's sleep and instead you have... Who killed Margaret? 
Well. You designed your own punishment. It was me. And discovered that you killed her over and over again. I killed Margaret. As long as you live, you will feel the pain of remembering that you killed her. Oh my goodness. You know what you have to do. Go back to Go sleep. Go back to sleep. This ends where it started. This ends where it started. We gotta go back to our little pod. Our little pod right back at the start. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Back to sleep we go. Margaret. Is Margaret in there? Tell me not. Margaret's dead. What's happening to me? Wait, no, where am I going? I'm, I'm being frozen again. I'm gone. And that has got to be it. Wow. What a dark storyline in the end. But that was very, very fun. Palindrome syndrome everybody and that is just about gonna do it for tonight's video i really hope that you all did enjoy this was a super super long video as well tonight but i had so much fun playing palindrome syndrome an asmr escape room if you will and um i really hope that you guys did enjoy um, working at the puzzles along with me and uh, I do apologize if you worked some of them out before I did I was a bit slow on some of them as well <laughs> but it was definitely very fun and I believe there are more versions of these escape rooms on uh, by the same map creators so maybe we'll check some of them out play them on Twitch and things like that so let me know if you want to see them but other than that Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you're relaxed. And I'll see you all in the next video.